The city has a new plan for tackling trash in a safer, more efficient, and better way, but they'll be testing the new plans in several neighborhoods before utilizing them citywide. The new style of trash collection would have trucks making one pass through neighborhoods, cutting down on noise and fuel consumption, as well as keeping trash collection unobtrusive, not to mention safer. This single pass pickup style will be accompanied by moving all trash receptacles to one side of the street for pickup. What we're looking at doing is implementing a one-sided garbage collection program and we're not looking at this citywide, we're looking to stay away from the arterial and collector streets. We do not want to focus on any of the busy streets at all. Our focus is going to be on the loop streets, the quieter residential areas that basically carry traffic that belongs in them residential areas. So in other words, uh, we want to stay away from the heavy traffic areas. Um, and, and we look at that from a safety aspect. We want it to be safe for the residents as well as our, our collection operators. Uh, we don't want to have to, to think about residents rolling their carts across a busy street to set it out for collection. What we're hoping to accomplish by this is to um, streamline our, our, our garbage truck collection efficiency and to help minim minimize noise in neighborhoods, reduce pollution, wear and tear on the streets and so forth. As everybody knows, our, our city is growing fairly quickly. We've got several new subdivisions as we speak uh, coming into uh, development. Uh, there's several houses, several residents that are, uh, that are, that are taking on uh, uh, our services on a, on a regular basis. So what we want to do is try to sustain our operation uh, without having to add routes. And this is one way that we find uh, that we can do that. Uh, we feel like we can reduce our, our miles driven by about 40%. Um, we're looking at a time savings, a man hour savings of about 30%. The plan is still relatively young, meaning that there are some issues that will need to be dealt with. We're trying to limit collection points during the winter time. Um, there's the snow removal on the one side of collection routes might be a little hard for us to get through with the snow plow trucks, so we might have to come back the next day and clear those streets off. Um, older people in, in the area that are affected by the pilot program might, might not be able to take their cans across the street, so we're trying to work with them to, to go up to the house and get their cans if we need to and take them back up them for, the, for those physically challenged people or elderly people. Of course, like any test, the trial runs are designed to test the effectiveness of the single-sided pickup concept, as well as to deal with any of the potential issues that have already been identified. However, if the idea is effective, the benefits could be enormous. In terms of uh, a safer operation, you're, you're, we're looking at right turn operations, fewer backing maneuvers because any time a truck has to turn around, we, we look at a, a safety issue there. There's a lot of exposure for these trucks out there on the route, so any time we can minimize that. Uh, he talked about noise back and forth, the two route or the two sided collection and having to go down and back. Um, the other thing is maintenance on the vehicles. If any time we can reduce the miles driven, uh, we're looking at a reduced reduction in maintenance. Also, a reduction in fuel consumption, consumption, obviously. Officials are quick to point out that while the proposed changes could sound like a reduction of service more than an improvement, they're simply streamlining the current process to make it more efficient. The same people will have the same amount of trash collected from their homes in a much timelier fashion than ever before. Some residents might perceive the one-sided collection as a reduction in service because um, th they've had it this way for so long and um, they, see that, they might see that taking across the street is a reduction of the service level that they've been normally been given. The Postal Service has been doing this for years. There are several areas that we've experienced and, and you don't really pay attention to that until you're out looking at these, these loop areas or these, these, uh, these quieter streets where the the Postal Service delivers on one side and the reason for that is so you don't have to drive on both sides of the street. We're hoping to get letters out here in July. Um, the, the question mark is going to be for us to get the carts labeled. We're going to put addresses on each of the carts so that residents know which one's theirs and that's very important for billing, especially the yard waste carts because they have an ID tag on them that is attached to the premise. We're asking residents again to place your wheels against the curb Turn it out so the so that the lid is facing outward, or the way you know the front of the cart is facing toward the street, 
and that will help us tremendously in terms of collection.